Hello there, my beautiful Leo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Leo, this is your energy check-in reading today. What I'm going to do for you is I'm going to open your reading with an oracle card from the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a spirit animal card from the Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck, a bonus card, and an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Leo, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear today. So we've got a card that really wants to come out. This is the top one. We are getting you are complete. Leo, you are complete, my friends. I'm going to read you the message on this card. So you are not broken. Nothing is wrong with you, Leo. Don't spend your life fixing problems. Dwell in the beauty of your being. You are enough now and always. So let me read that to you once more. You are not broken, Leo. Nothing is wrong with you. Don't spend your life fixing problems. Dwell in the beauty of your own being. You are enough now and always. So what a powerful message for you today. You are complete, Leo. Let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through for you. So this is a really... Uh, interesting energy that is coming in. We have the wood goblin as well. So I don't know if any of you have seen this image anywhere in your life, but I feel some of you have. So you'll have to share with me. We have the Knight of Cups coming in. So there's an offer, something coming in slowly, almost giving you a sense of freedom with this energy. It's a flow and it's a heart centered, whatever this is that's coming into your life. So be prepared for this to come in. I feel some of you have manifested whatever this is into your life. So the Knight of Cups for you to start. We also have the Six of Swords. So this is a, a peace of mind, almost like this energy of calm. Things are finally settling down for some of you. Perhaps there's been this slow moving energy of chaos, but everything has kind of fallen into place. And now you're kind of flowing with this beautiful, peaceful river, Leo. So the Six of Swords here for you. Now, what I also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on the screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So the Six of Swords, and we have the Ace of Wands. You're moving towards something new. This is a new energy, a new life experience, Leo. And I feel this is coming in as a project, perhaps a new job, maybe a relationship. Some Somewhere that you're going to put a lot of your energy. This is what I'm getting here for you. So the Ace of Wands, a new path is revealing itself. And um, there's an old chapter that's closing off as well. So I feel this is you, this energy of the Knight of Cups is you. Now, actually, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Leo. So those of you that are watching today, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So slow moving energy here. There's been this long stretch, a long journey here for some of you where you're coming to to this place where things are starting to finally settle down or work out for you. And there's this freedom that is coming in with that. I feel that some of you have really gone through a lot in your life and this place that you're in right now, it's very, very peaceful, like very peaceful. And there's some opportunity or offer available to you here in this energetic space where you're able to um, do something that is aligned to your heart. 
This is really opening you up to something new. So those of you that have passion projects, which is coming through this card today, the Ace of Wands, you're meant to embark on them. Or perhaps you've been having this calling or desire or feeling to do something new in your life. Like it's just a feeling. And maybe you've been feeling this feeling for a little while because there is some slow movement here with energies is you felt this for a while. You know that there's something else that you're supposed to do here at Leo. It's kind of like, okay, I do this job. I do these things. Maybe you're in a life where things are calm and peaceful, but you're yearning and longing for something. What is this for you? There's something creative there in the background as well with this. So I feel this is going to come to the forefront in your life, Leo, that whatever this is, is going to show up for you. So perhaps some of you are one day singing in the shower, singing in your car and someone hears you and they say, oh my gosh, you have such a great voice. You should go on American Idol or something like this, right? There, there's something that is slowly kind of happening and unfolding for you around um, something that you're doing, like something that you're passionate about, whether it's singing or maybe you write poetry, someone sees it, or perhaps you, you know, submit it for some, like some sort of recognition. And, um, this could be a book that you're publishing and it's, it's a hit, right? There's so many different ways, like a photographer, even comedians, magicians out there, right? Uh, maybe you're starting a YouTube channel and it's been slow in, in, in the making, like the progress has been very slow, but all of a sudden you're going to start to see things picking up here. So there's this beautiful stretch that is, is expanding for you. And it's through your heart center, Leo. Some of you are really living through that heart center right now. And what I'm getting here, what I mean by that is you're somebody that that is kind, compassionate, lives through love energy. Um, you don't let too many things affect you. I feel there's very stable emotional energy here as well. So some of you are very grounded, Leo. And you plan. Some of you really plan things out. You make Before you make a decision, you really think things through. And it's that planning, that strategizing, that slow movement that is actually working for you. You're not in a big rush here. I feel maybe there's an energy that's rushing in for you, but you're kind of stoic. This is what I'm getting here. You're very stoic with this energy. And you're not in any rush to receive anything. You're going to receive something. There's definitely something being received here. This is an offering, a receiving of something. So I feel these are blessings coming in for you in some way here, but it's because of the energy that you have been putting out there. So I really feel that um, there's this energy of karma coming back from a past cycle here, somewhere where you had been giving energy and now it's slowly coming in for you. And because of this, it's shifting you on the inside as well. I feel there's a major transformation that is happening for you. And you've really worked hard to kind of um, create, I, I'm seeing an inner sanctuary here for you. So you've created or cultivated some sort of balance or quiet space in your life where you can retreat to anytime you're feeling overwhelmed. And this is how you're able to remain at a steady pace. There's no rush to get anywhere. Like there's no, um, nothing distracting you because you're moving at a slow pace. You're thoroughly looking at things here and you know, you kind of have things figured out in a way that you, could, you seem to know how to life here, Leo. This is the best way I can describe this is you know how to life. You've gone through a lot of things in your life where it's almost like you kind of know what to expect and you know which direction to move because you have a plan. You've had a game plan. You've got some experience behind you. You're seasoned so you know you are aware. Your intuition, you are connected and you listen to that guidance that comes in and this is ultimately what is happening. You've kind of gotten over some of the things that used to once bother you as well, Leo. I feel you're coming into this place where there's stillness in your mind and not every day bothers bother you anymore. And I feel it's because of something that has happened in your life, an experience that you've had that's really calmed you right down. Maybe you weren't calm once before, but now you are. Not many things bother you or get to you. I feel that you have come to this place in your life where it's kind of like whatever, you know, if you have a problem with me or if you're going to say that to me, that's your problem, not mine. It's kind of like you're remaining in your own energy and you're starting to see life flowing in that, in that energy as well. Like you're kind of seeing this stream of flow. So 
the swords are the things that you think and it's kind of like, okay, I've given organization to them. I feel some of you are like, all right, I know that I think about this thing. I've learned to create a relationship around it. I know this is a strength, but I don't know why it shows up. I feel you're working on some of the things that you've pulled out out of your mind here, Leo. And this is where things have become calm. It's like you can't control this. You're going to give this to spirit. You're not going to let these energies bother you anymore. It's like you've created this like nice... Um, it's not a boundary. Maybe it is a boundary. I don't know. But I feel that you've done something here where you know how things work. You know how to kind of control your energy. And I'm seeing you doing meditations, yoga, just having practices or implementing things to create that inner peace within you. And, you know, this has taken a long time for you to get here because you had to experience the extreme situations in order to actually um, come out of it to understand that, oh my gosh, these are all experiences that I was meant to go through to come to this place of peace and balance because had you not gone through them, who knows where you would be right now. All right, so Leo, this is a very interesting energy. I'm also seeing a clean slate here for some of you. So perhaps you were, you're coming through a storm or you have, you were in a storm uh, a little, because I'm seeing a storm like behind me. I'm seeing a storm behind this um like behind this boat, this person has come out and now they've been given this serene, beautiful, clean slate. And it's up to you to put the things that you want in there. So you're being given an opportunity, almost like a second chance to create what it is that you want. And perhaps this is that storm was you maybe lost your job and you're now in this position where, okay, what do I do now? I've got a clean slate here. Um, and what do you want to do, Leo? Maybe you come out of a relationship and that was a really painful experience for you and you're going through this now healing period. This is a clean slate where a spirit's saying, you know what, heal the way that you need to right now, Leo. We're giving you all the space that you need. You do it in the way that you want to. This is one other thing that's coming in, like so many different things. There's like, you kind of, it's not, it is, it's kind of like you're surrendering in a sense. Not everything, just like parts and bits of things that, you can't control any that you don't want to control. You're tired. I'm getting tired energy. Like you're just tired. You want to move forward. You're done with all of this stuff. You're not interested anymore. You just want to move along your path and kind of be left alone here. Uh, Leo. So very interesting card. You're going to have to share with me how this card is showing up in your life. Um, I also feel that some of you are moving in a different direction in your life. You maybe were one way and now you're moving in a different direction. Like Maybe you're changing your career. Maybe you're changing your home. Like I see you kind of doing something different in your life that you didn't do once before. Um, that you used to do in your life. It's like you used to drink coffee for 10 years of your life and now you're, you're, you are now taking care of your health and you're releasing things that no longer are unhealthy. You're releasing all these unhealthy things. So you're working on yourself getting healthy. And any of the thoughts or things you used to think, these are beliefs and values. I feel that there were some that were engraved from childhood, but you've recognized the ones that actually resonate for you and the ones that don't. So you've kind of come to terms with the ones that you don't resonate with because I feel there's always been a struggle around some of those. Things that your parents maybe taught you that weren't in alignment with you. Maybe you struggled with it growing up. Um, maybe you struggled with it as an adult, but you're coming to this place now where you know that those don't have to be your beliefs. Perhaps they're your parents' beliefs. Maybe they're your spouse's beliefs. Whoever beliefs these are, they're not your own. You have your own set of beliefs. And those are what you are going to flow, flow with in this river. So this is coming through. Now, as you're flowing, as you're moving through these beautiful energies here, you are being opened to this beautiful new um, project, this new, like, it's an opening. It's a door that's wide open and you can go through it. And anything is possible here for you, uh, Leo. Anything is possible. The sky's the limit. So you can dream as big as you want. Imagine what it is that you can create here and create it. There's going to be a lot of success. I feel some of you have been dreaming about doing something. Uh, passion project, perhaps. Your heart is tied to this. So you're meant to follow through on this. You're actually meant to commit yourself to this. Um, I also feel that maybe you had an idea, some sort of like 
aha moment. Maybe something came into your awareness. Perhaps you had a conversation with somebody and it sparked an idea within you and you're about to embark on this new journey, this new project, this new thing. Okay, which is really going to open you up to a whole new life experience. This is meant to come into your life. There's a reason why you are being given the energy to move towards it. It's like you're wanting to take action on it, Leo. And because you're inspired, because you're feeling motivated and everything feels good to you right now, you want to remain in this energy. This is, I, I feel, especially those of you that are starting like a social media um, platform, maybe it's YouTube, perhaps it's like a podcast. Um, there's a lot of challenges that come with that, right? I know because I, I've put together all of my stuff and I remember all the struggles and challenges I had to go through. I still go through them, but I feel that you're up to it and you're going to learn through the process and you're going to get really good at it. So there's an opportunity here for you to really learn and grow and expand. And I feel that if you actually commit yourself to this, like even with my YouTube channel, when I first started, I really had a hard time figuring things out. But I was determined. I was like, you know what? I'm going to make this happen for myself. I don't care what anyone says. I had a lot of negativity and people saying, oh, it's saturated YouTube. There's no way you're going to make it. It's so hard and this and that. I just was like, you know, that's not my belief. I have my own set of beliefs and those are the ones I'm going to follow. So I don't care what anyone says. I like it when people give me advice and, you know, it's because they care. It's not from ill intention at all. Sometimes people care and they try to give you their advice hoping that it'll benefit you. But sometimes we have our own um, ideas, our own, you know, our own things that we want to believe and do. And that's what you're meant to do, especially if you're feeling the urge to do whatever this is. I feel like I'm all over the place with this part of this reading here. I apologize if that's how it's feeling. It's the way it's coming into me. So it, I'm channeling something and there's I feel there's so many different, like there's someone's voice that I'm seeing that's, there's a lot of words coming out of somebody's voice and they're going far and far out. So what I'm getting here is someone is meant to speak words like your words here, Leo, are meant to reach far out in the world. And they're going to make a difference in someone's life, in people's lives. I feel they're going to touch hearts. And this is your loving energy. So you are offering people something in the world. If this is your loving energy and your help, you're here to inspire, motivate, and uplift others through your voice, through your creati creativity, through your self-expression. So those of you that are wanting to launch something or start something that has to do with you, your creativity, your self-expression, I would urge you to explore the possibilities around it. Learn as much as you can, master it and go do it. And mastering it is by just doing it, practicing, getting good at it. That's all it is. And um, this is really going to, I feel the sky's the limit here. They keep saying the sky is the limit. I feel that uh, some of you are going to experience a lot of freedom through this. I feel there's a home business here for some of you. I feel this is a home business for sure for some of you. You're kind of like, I really want to have this home business. This has been a dream of mine and I'm working slowly towards it and it's going to happen for me. You're going to make sure that it happens for you because it's showing up in your card here. And it's going to be a smooth, it's not that it's smooth, it's going to be a peaceful, like you don't want it to feel like it's overwhelming. You want to keep in this smooth um, peaceful, calm state here as you're moving through this. You want to move into this slowly and steady and keep moving with it slowly and steady. There is no rush. There is no rush. I feel that whatever it is that you're wanting to accomplish in your life, you are going to accomplish it. And you're, I'm just seeing some major success here for some of you. I'm seeing you rising up to the sky and reaching people that you never imagined that you could reach. So I'm telling you, something big is happening for you right now, Leo. All right, let's pull a spirit animal card for you today. See what it is that spirit would like to share with you. Any of you that have been seeing animals or insects in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you unicorn, infinite possibilities. So look at that. I don't know if any of you have seen a unicorn somewhere in your life. If you haven't, this is your confirmation today. This is your confirmation in general here. Um, butterflies as well, Leo. So the message is you are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds, Leo. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. So go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. I feel legendary is written in this card. 
This is what I was feeling. I was just not able to explain it to you. So legendary is the word that I was missing here. So I'm going to now pull a bonus card from the Wild Woman Rising Oracle deck. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook as well, Leo. So we are getting for you here. Tell your story. Look at this. Tell your story, Leo. Oh my gosh, this is giving me goosebumps now. We have the number 43 on this card. I don't know if any of you have been seeing this number. It could be a number of significance for you. Uh, those of you looking for timing around the message of this card, I'm getting four to three days, four to three months, and four to three weeks. We've got, I think, a tarantula on this card or spider. So I don't know if any of you have seen a tarantula or own a tarantula, like seen it in your dream. Any kind of spider, I feel this is your confirmation today, okay? So let's pull the interpretation here. Number 43. All right, so in a society that has you counting calories, pounds, money, and social media likes, be a rebel and count your blessings instead, Leo. Whether it's the gift of breath, the fur on a beloved beast child, a blooming flower on the roadside, or an unexpected call from a friend, Celebrate the tiny miracles in your life, Leo. Mice are often ignored, living most of their life in hiding, and yet they are little wonders of nature, inviting you to marvel at what is often overlooked. Take stock in the wonders that surround you right now, Leo, when we greet our lives with gratitude and celebrate all its many splendors as gifts given freely, our hearts swell with appreciation and wild woman arises. So look at that. Tell your story. I feel some of your words are actually meant to reach people because they're words of inspiration, words that are your experiences. So you're meant to, you're a survival manual. I feel some of you are a survival manual for others. And um, yeah, you're meant to guide here. Leo, some of you are meant to guide. So let's pull an angel number. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So coming good. I feel there's coming good into your life here. So number 45, 45, this could be a number of significance for you, 45, or perhaps you're seeing fours and fives in your life. For timing around this, I'm getting 45 days for you, Leo. So the message here is, Things are arriving in divine timing for you. Everything is falling into place. You're going to start experiencing blessings if you already haven't. There's positive events that are um, taking place here for you, and it's a time for you to receive, Leo. So be open and receptive and receive what it is the universe is sending your way. Maybe some of you might be seeing the colors in this card as well somewhere in your life. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonated for you. If it did, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.